welcome back friends in this video I'm going to show you about how to enable or disable the buttons using based on the current logged in user so let's move on to the demo now I have already have a list with with the enabled with a power apps form in this video I'm going to any I'm going to add a two buttons approve or reject so and based on the logged in user I'm going to enable or disable that button let's see Just open get it this form in a power apps after clicking that customize with the power apps it navigates to a power apps form there you have to add a two buttons so below two the attachments one is for approve and another one is for reject approve reject okay let's add it here just I have a aligned it maybe I renamed it to button approve and renaming the next button to button reject and I'm going to change the text also to reject to better understand approve now we are going to enable or disable the button so before that I'm just save and publish it okay now it is published just move back after the first click on the edit button now we can see approve or reject now we have to enable the option disable this button so enable this button based on the login user okay so I'm just going to click on this button and then go to the display mode here we have a edit option so here we have to use disable display mode dot disabled or display mode dot edit based on the login user so before that I'm going to add a connector to office 365 this move to the connector just search for office 3 by users and this one so we can also use the default user dot mail so instead of uh, going with office 3 by users in some places organization have used a different ID for user dot email and as well as for office 3 by because they have just created a they have created an ID in the email but in for the user friendly purpose they have renamed into the user names okay so to better avoid those uh, errors let's we can use the office 3 by user connector just click on this approve button and then if SharePoint integration because this SharePoint integration links with the selected item in SharePoint list dot selected dot approver dot email okay equals office 365 users dot my profile dot my profile dot mail okay if this is equals we have to show that display mode edit otherwise display mode should be disabled we are going to use the same same condition to reject as well display mode enter let's save it and publish it and then we'll check it out file publish to SharePoint so let's open this the first the page we can see I am the current approval so I can able to see this approve or reject functionality here so let's move on to the next item which is the approval is test user one click on this edit this you can see these two buttons are disabled now so I have a separate logged in it logged in as test user one so I'm just check checking it here open this item edit now we can see the approval reject for this particular item the approval is test user one so let's open this one first item this approval object is the disabled okay so so if the approval is a multi-person field 
then how we can add a condition let's see that so first change the settings here let's change this approval field to allow multiple selections and then click ok after updating this uh, multiple uh, selection this particular condition is want to work let's see that let's open this you can see this is disabled as well as this items also disabled because this is a multiple selection so this we can't use the equal condition for this for that let's open the power apps and refresh this data connection you can see this particular condition is not suitable equal so now we have to use a different condition for this for that we have to use the lookup functionality let's see the lookup function lookup condition for this sharepoint integration dot selector dot approval comma email we are comparing this email of this approval with office 6 by mail id right and then we'll be returning the email yes equals and then we will be changing this to disable so we are just swapping the false and true and false values so because this email which returns the actual value because this email which returns the actu actual value if it is uh, there is no items it will returns the false otherwise it will returns the email id email id so we will be shaping this two properties two values the boolean values here then just so just copy the same code here and then just paste it in reject same so let's save it and publish it then open the power apps in SharePoint list edit it is showing uh, disabled because I am not uh, approved for this particular item so let's open this item I can see okay that's it this is another tab which I have logged in with test user I'm testing with first item it's so because this is I am not the approval for this particular item so I am not saying this uh, buttons that is the buttons are disabled and I click on this particular I can able to see this two buttons so because I'm I'm an approval for this so this is a very simple uh, trick we have to use if you are not interested to use office 6 by users uh, this particular thing maybe we can use uh, the power apps the default one user dot email this also we can use to achieve our functionality okay so the same I can just apply it here save it and publish it and then we'll check it out I can see the disabled one here I can see the buttons are enabled so we can use these two simple functions from office x5 also from the, the default uh, function from power apps to check the current user and then based on that we can enable or disable the button Thank you for watching this video. I'll come up with next video with how to change the status based on the click of this each buttons. Please subscribe and click the bell icon to get more videos and stay tuned. And also give your valuable feedback on this video and don't forget to click the like button. Thank you. Thank you for watching.